Hi everybody and welcome back to Scrap Edit Creations. I'm Diane and today we are going to be completing pages 8, 9, 10, and 11 for the Joy of Christmas is Family book. I'm so excited to get this almost done. So let's get scrapping. Okay, so I have laid out the next pages, which would be, I want to say, eight and nine of this book. And this piece right here is the tab that's going to go inside. This is the outside of it. I have those tags that I had used on the last layout. Well, I should say, got ready for the last layout, didn't use. And then I have another one that this one says, Feeling Mary. I did pull over some of these um, holly and berries. I kind of just tossed those out. These are not my favorite, but I think that they're going to work on this one. I pulled another circle in here and I pulled um, the doily and I've inked things and I've put adhesive on most of it. I think I did most of it. Um, yeah, I, I was looking at it and I was trying to gauge where I had and where I hadn't. Okay, so on this piece, I am going to actually add these two pieces later. I need to add the magnet to this piece. And let's see here, let's add it about right there. And then I did add adhesive here. Yay! I know I was second guessing myself because I was like, oh, add adhesive. And then I started working on some other stuff with it too and thinking about what I was kind of wanting. And then, you know, and then I turned the video on and I was like, oh, I hope I did stuff. Okay, so there is that bit. Now, this piece right here, yep, added adhesive to here too. This just goes on here. The nice part about this piece right here with this plaid is that I don't have to watch the pattern as much. I kind of like my plaids at an angle, so I think I cut it that way, but I could be wrong. I don't remember. I don't remember at all. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, once you mess up that adhesive, you just it's there's no going back. It just doesn't work after that as well. Okay, and this piece. Goodness, I want to go right here. Just like on that last one, it's about the same width as it. And then we'll put this down. After we put the magnet, oh my goodness, God, I am determined to forget magnets left and right. I don't know if the last couple of pages have magnets on them. At this point, I'm kind of hoping no. <laughs> yeah, that's where it goes. There we go. And then we'll add some adhesive. I should not have added that wet adhesive, but we added a little bit of the other. There we go. Okay, and we're just gonna kind of center this onto the page. Now the cut file, like I said, I have built everything onto each piece. It's all layered together. If you so desire, make it bigger, make it smaller. Do whatever you need to do for your, your book. You know, alter it to your heart's content. It hurts my feelings not at all. Okay, so we've got these bits. I'm gonna wait on those. Let's add this piece over here. And I just added kind of adhesive here and there. This one's rather simple. The only piece that it matters, and I know I added that adhesive because I had to get out my fourth, my fourth inch and do that, is that matters. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put this one on here. 
And like before, I am not going to put anything on this page because a picture is all you can do or journaling. Just one little layer. Otherwise, it's not going to it's not going to do well. OK, so on this page, what I was kind of thinking was putting this down here, but then I have to put it on the same side. I have to mirror that. And so that would put that, let's see here, about right there. And let's see how that looks. I don't know if I like that. Let's see here. So if I put that, does that compete too much? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. But that is a little low because if I want to put these guys over here, let's see here. I was kind of thinking like that. So that would be up a little higher so that those could stay in. I was also thinking of putting this over here on the side. Okay, so if I do that, then we are looking at, oops, let's see here, level this out right there. And you can barely see it, so I would have to go up just a smidge more. Okay, and this one, I am not going to worry about the center as much. I'm going to just do it on the edges like I've been doing, and I'm using the Stampin' Seal. But I want to, let's see here, I need to go up a little bit. So let's go up to there, there. So we'll go here and across. And then I'm just going to put a photo. Do I want to tuck it? I guess I could. I don't. I want to go over. Okay. I'm going over. Going over it. Oh, I wanted the doily. Where did I put the doily? I swear I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached today. Come on. Work. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. And this double check. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll put some adhesive on this piece, except that I did not ink that, and I think it does need to be inked around the edges. There we go. Okay. Put that up there because I put a little bit of adhesive on that and I shouldn't have. Okay. Then this top area was where I was thinking about putting these little stockings. So we'll put that that way. And I am not sure which route to go. I like the green on top because I definitely am not a huge fan of these little guys. They were die cuts that came with the set and they're just sitting here. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to use them. I don't want them perfect. Oh, I like how that's laid though. Okay, now let's work on this top piece. And I'm going to put the photo mat, I think, more over this way. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Um, let me gauge where we need pop tape right here. And I'm not going to put adhesive there. I'm just going to put adhesive on this one. And maybe in that center area. Okay. And now the picture can go down and then I can add adhesive to that part later. Okay, very happy with this one. Yeah, I like it. It's, the paper is a little harder to work with. I'm not in the Christmas spirit. That is part of the problem right now. 
I was in the Christmas spirit earlier well, before my surgery. So it's kind of sad that I didn't get to finish it at that point. So I really am sorry that I didn't get this finished before Christmas last year. Okay, so this one we are just going to put a little bit of adhesive and I'm going to gob it on there on both sides. Make sure that it's good and, gone and on there. And then I'm going to put this right here. And I'm kind of letting it bubble up a little bit because I have a lot of weight I'm going to be putting underneath it. Maybe I bubbled it a little too much. Let's take it down a notch. Let's just kind of put it across because you want it to be taunt, but not too taunt. Okay. I think that's the right word. Okay. And so then if I want to put this down here, I'm going to put a piece of pop tape right here and I'm going to do the little and take that off. And then I'm going to put this little guy right there and I'm going to use the wet glue. It'll be easier to kind of put just a dollop down there. Oops. And it will squeeze out if you're too generous with it. And then I'm going to put just a smidge on there. And let's take a look at that. Okay. So these will still all come out. I have not put adhesive, like I said, on the tag on the tags over here. I do need to add a bow to this one. There they are. And there, that's very festive. So on the page, this will look like this. And it looks like this needs to actually be even tighter. Interesting. There we go. Okay. So we've got that one. We've got this one. And those will go right next to each other in the book. I will get the next one set up and be right back. And I will add this to the book as well. Okay, it looks like when I was planning this that I decided to do another page that was like this. I'm not sure if I would do it now. I don't know. I'm going to follow through with what I've planned. Um, again, it's hard because it's, you know, it's July, not December, November time um, to kind of look at what I would do for, for pictures. So I'm going at this a little more analytical with kind of just a layout type process that makes sense if it doesn't I'm really sorry um, but it does help me in planning how I would um, do this a little differently in the future so um, I mean it's cute I do I do like oh, I did it again I do like this style of a layout um, on these books they're a lot of fun but I'm not sure I would put so many of the same going uh, towards each other in the same book. I think I would change that up a little bit. So, but I already have it cut, so we're just going to run with it. Okay, now I really did like, I have liked using this um, stamp and seal on this piece. This one I need to make sure I am watching the way the script goes. You only have to do that on things that are like this or the, um, I think it's on the back of this one, this one. You just have to watch them there. Okay. And then let's take this off and we can put the magnet on this over here. Okay. And grab the magnet. I ran out of my normal size. I have a little bit smaller magnets. Okay. I do like how independent magnets are. They will find their, their mate. <laughs> Makes it very nice when you're doing one of these. Okay. There we go. 
that one is together. Let's put this one together as well. I'm going to put the magnet on first. <laughs> I should have done that with the, all the others, but for some reason, I am doing a mental block when it comes to that. I remember way, way back, I mean, it's been years, I do have some of this still, um, but we would use Velcro. So if you have Velcro laying around, it will work. I just decided that I didn't care for it as much, partially because I was using the adhesive, they're already adhesivized, if that's a word, um, Velcro pieces. And I found that I, they didn't stick as much. But I know in some situations, you know, you use what you've got. And uh, Velcro would also work or no closure. I mean, if you don't mind that they're kind of flapping, then you're fine. It's all good. You don't have to put the magnets on there. I just happen to really like the magnet feel. Okay, let's get this one ready. Okay, and the magnet. Find its little mate. I'm gonna feel around. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oops. There we go. Oh, I don't think I put wet glue on that last one. So the nice part about these really is the fact that you could use this cut file and make any paper. You could do it for Easter. You could do it for a wedding. This would be a gorgeous wedding album. Um, what else could you do? I mean, anything. Halloween, Thanksgiving. Oh, I am so inked up. Sorry. I had some wipes around here and I don't see them now. Um, but you, you could use this for anything. So take this cut file that I have um, on my blog and use it to its use it just use it use it and abuse it and um make make a lot of gifts okay i had decided i wanted to use these pieces here um partially because i had forgotten on the wreath that i wanted to add something and i used these two little pieces because that was the best i could find um because i'm trying to just use what i got in my kit um, or things that I was able to cut um, with the Cricut. And I'm kind of, I don't want to say I'm low on paper because I'm not low on paper. I'm just low on supplies. And I'd rather use up what I've got here. So I am using this tag. I am using some of these. This is my last of these larger gold dots. Um, this could be for some journaling. And then when we open this up, oh, we have, I think, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so we can do this. And I think I'm just going to put that at an angle. And we'll put this one straight. And kind of leave the, the words blank over here from embellishments. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so that's hidden, which is good. Um, I need to come up with something to embellish that area, but we'll do that after we finish the other side. Okay, there we finished off that tag. Okay, so then over here, I've got these two little ones, and I've got the word Noel, and I thought that was kind of cute. I am going to need to to use my T-square. Okay, let's do that and the glue. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the L down first because that'll tell me how far over I can go. Thank you. 
I like this. The black on these letters is really pulling in the black from the, the background paper. So that's nice. I like it when we can incorporate a little bit of the, the colors together. I didn't, there's a little bit of black here, actually. Let's go over here. We've got this other sprig that I didn't put on that other page. We could put that in here. Yeah, we're going to do that. That ties the black in a little bit more. The other thing with these is you can embellish these however you want. They are such an easy little layout bit that you can do so much with. I'm going to grab glue dots for these. These are ones that I believe I, I cut on the Cricut and they are very delicate. So let's kind of shape those, that one, and this one. And then I'm just kind of randomly putting them there. That was my thoughts when I was pulling it out. And then I'm going to put one of these little gold dots. They're like glitter, gold glitter dots. Okay, liking that. And... And then we've got the inside bits. Okay, save those for that last layout. I am so excited that this is almost done because I really, it was really sitting on me that I hadn't finished this. And I thought, well, I better just grab it and finish it. Just be done. Okay, so here is the way it looks right now. We still need to embellish this inside area. It looks extremely boring. Okay, what do we got? We've got some of these little ornaments. We could use those up. Have this little bit of holly and some berries. It's a possibility. We have some hearts. Let's see. We do have this piece. We wanted to add some, uh, not feeling it right now. Okay, then what do we got over here? We've got mainly the presents, and I think we've added enough presents. I think I'll save that for later. What's on this tag? It's just a little tag, although it is kind of cute. It needs something. And then we've got the little um, stamp pieces. I do have these two um, holly bits left over, but I want to use those on the last page. Oh, we still have these that I've had a hard time using <laughs> because these are hard to use for me. Um, I still am not loving them. That is huge. Hmm. Kind of like that little grouping. I don't have another one of those, so I couldn't mimic it on the other side. I don't care for the hearts. And I only have one more of these, not another one. Um, what about... Oh, I like that. Okay, that looks good. Giving gifts, maybe? Let's see it on there. Could do down below. That's kind of cute. What could we put here? I do really like this. I'm just going to run with it. And then it's using them. That, I think, is one of my biggest favorite parts about this album right now is the fact that I am using up all of these little bits. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And that makes me feel very good. So one thing I was thinking is because these videos are kind of, I mean, this one's not as long as the last one. Um, I am thinking, oh, let's see here. Let's 
show this a little more. I am thinking I will do the last page as its own video and then a reveal of the whole layout of the whole book. I think that that would be probably the easiest and best way to showcase this. Um, this one needs something. This one, it, I feel like because this is angled, it kind of finishes that off. Normally I would put like some gems. Uh, and I do have this piece. I don't love that. Let's see what else I got over here. I have this one, it's my least favorite of those. This needs something behind it. I am going to sneak over here and pull this off on both of these. Nobody will know. Okay, put some adhesive here. And put you there and put these bits. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so this one's done, this one's done. Hmm. I know I'm just like looking around. Grab the sticker sheet back. I wish these would look good, but they just don't. Although I could use that. And then, let's see, yeah, yeah, except that I need to flag this. I have not flagged this one. This was the other side of the other one that I cut. Okay, well, I'm liking that. The sad part is, is this was the side that I didn't feel needed as much. <laughs> and now it has more, and the other side has nothing. Okay. Well, we have another of the wood green little banner pieces. Let's put that up higher this time. And do I have any strips? I do. I have a strip of the green. So I could just mimic, mirror it on the other side. And let's just trim a bit. Uh, I've got so much of this paper, too. Okay, let's look at that. Okay, I'm liking that. Now I wonder if those hearts would look kind of cool. Oh, I'm liking that. I do like it. Okay, perfect. Now I'm pulling a little bit of the red in because this is very black, but I really like the words, so... Oops, let's put you there, put the adhesive off, and let's see here. I love the Noel here. I'm really happy that I just happened to lay that out. Um, this tag looks really good here too. I know that these aren't kind of picturey places um, right now, but I'm okay with it. I wish I had the black behind these as well because they kind of get lost in on camera. In person, you can see them a lot easier. I'll do that. That won't work. All I'm doing is trying to make it you be able to see it on camera. Oops, I got some adhesive right there. So I'm going to adhere these pages to the book and then the next video will be a separate video for the last two pages and a run through. So I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for coming to play today. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. Leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.